Le professeur Inge, the policy of Utelsat uh, in, uh, in terms of solutions, services and qualities, but even expansion and customer satisfaction. Well, I think you, you, you touch a, a few words where it would take a long time, of course, to say what we're doing in those uh, areas. So I just take a, a, one of them or uh, two of them. Quality, clearly, there is a demand in many businesses, in, if not in all businesses, for higher quality. So the question is, what does it mean? So higher quality in our industry, for instance, it is possibly to deliver a better ex customer experience for our for the customer of our customer, so this is you and me when we watch a television. So that's why we are pushing, for instance, 4K. We think that the customer experience when you look at 4K screen is just extraordinary. So that's an example. But quality could be as well the reliability of the service. When you watch TV or a sport event, of course, you don't expect something to go down. And clearly, so this means higher reliability, higher performance, and so forth. So that's what could be behind the word uh, quality very quickly, of course. Now, in terms of uh, customer satisfaction, so that's for sure linked to quality. You have customer satisfaction if you have the quality of service. Now, you mentioned another word, which is expansion. So clearly, expansion, uh, uh, the world is global. So uh, that's why we decided to expand east and west with uh, acquisitions, for instance, of uh, GSAT, G23, to cover Asia and the Pacific Ocean. And more recently, the acquisition of SATMEX, SATMEX being based in Mexico, but covering Latin America, and which will add uh, three satellites to our fleet, which is about 31 satellites. So expansion is clearly a key word as well to better serve our clients on a global basis. And uh, in the Omnivision fields, you have HD, 3D and 4K. So innovation, so it could be in different uh, parts of the value chain. You know, it could be in the satellite, and we rely, of course, on uh, uh, satellite manufacturers, which have, uh, which provide strong innovation, but listening to our requirements. But then we, of course, uh, listen to our uh, uh, customers, who have also uh, a number of requirements, with, which is uh, pulling areas where we want to innovate. So one we did uh, recently introduce at IBC this September was what we call the smart LNB. You know, we have smartphones, but we thought that it was it would be good to introduce a smart LNB because we go into a connected world. So I think for what I would call the connected broadcast world, uh, it was important to give a solution to our client to, to have a, a kind of a return pass, IP return pass with a, 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 a cost effective solution. So using one LNB and have and provide this uh, return pass when there is no other mean to connect your client. Of course, you may have a terrestrial link to connect to your client, but uh, we want to be able to provide a bi-directional, so of course broadcasting, but also return pass, thanks to this innovation which we call the smart LNB. But we mentioned before 4K, of course you need to provide a lot of innovation along the value chain to, of course, uh, provide also right solution of the, and the right ecosystem to deliver 4K solutions uh, to the consumers.